Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss one more important system from the organs of speech under the umbrella term the modern English structures. Friends, we have seen two systems from the organs of speech. The first system is the respiratory system. The second system we have, which we have discussed, the phonatory system. And this is the third and last very important system under the organs of speech that is known as the articulatory system. Friends, this is also very crucial uh, system of the organs of speeches. And most of the uh, organs are used for pronunciation of uh, languages of the world. Friends, under the uh, system, the articulated system, there are nine important organs of speeches we are, we are going to discuss. The first speech, the, the first organ of speech under the articulatory system is the pharynx. Friends, as far as the pharynx is concerned, this is the only organ of speech under the articulatory system which can't seen in the mirror. What is meant by the pharynx? Extending from the larynx to the hindermost part of the tongue is known as pharynx. And the back part of the tongue, the hindermost, of the, uh, hindermost part of the tongue is known as the pharyngeal cavity. And what is the use of this pharyngeal cavity? Pharyngeal cavity is generally responsible for giving or assuming various shapes to the back of the tongue as well as the soft palate. With the help of pharyngeal cavity and with the help of muscles, tongue and soft palate is uh, responsible to assume various shapes. So this is about the first important organ that is the pharynx. Now the organs under the articulatory system which we are going to discuss which these organs are which we can easily see in the mirror. The first organ of speech, the second organ of speech is called the lips. Friends, easily we can see there are two lips, lower lip, upper lip. With the help of lip, we are responsible to pronounce various sounds of many languages. As far as English is concerned, the two important uh, sounds, two initial sounds of the following words uh, are pronounced with the help of two lips. Pen, bat. Pe, b. So, with the help of two lips, we can pronounce pe, b. And one more sound is also pronounced in English, that is m, come, m. So, these three sounds are particularly pronounced with the help of lips. One more sound is there, w, when our lips are taking the rounded shape, w. So, these are the three sounds pronounced with the help of lips. The next very important organ of speech is, is the teeth. Friends, teeth playing very crucial role in pronunciation of every language. Due to loss of teeth, all men can't pronounce proper words. It means teeth plays very crucial role in pronunciation of all the languages. Friends, as far as English language sounds pronunciation is concerned, the initial sounds of the words fan and van means p and v, lower lip touching to the upper teeth and sounds pronounced pan, van. So these two sounds we are pronounced with the help of upper lip, up, lower lip and upper teeth. So teeth are very important organ of speeches under the articulatory system. After teeth, there is very important one more organ of speech that is the teeth ridge. Friends, from upper front teeth 
up to the end of that this part look this part it is known as roof of the mouth and in roof of the mouth teeth ridge is very important organ of speech uh, it the teeth ridge which is also called the alveolar ridge is the convex part of the roof of the mouth lying immediately behind the upper teeth it can be easily felt by placing the tongue behind the upper teeth many consonants sounds are produced with the help of teeth ridge for example the initial sounds of the following words t and day t and d are pronounced with the help of teeth ridge and two more sounds from su and zu means s and z are pronounced with the help of teeth ridge friends after teeth ridge there is very important part of the roof of the mouth which is known as the hard palate friends it is lying immediately behind the teeth ridge the hard palate is hard bony surface called hard palate where we found uh, with the help of hard palate we can pronounce uh, some important sounds the initial sounds of the following words for example so and show means so and show so and show these two initial sounds are pronounced with the help of hard palate next very important organ of speech of the articulatory system is the soft palate friends if you move your tongue behind the hard palate at the after the hard palate there is the portion which is the end part of the roof of the mouth which is known as soft palate or velum it is also very important for production of various sounds in english as far as english language is concerned especially the soft palate and back of the tongue with the combination of these there can be many sounds pronounced for example initial sounds of the following words king and go means k and g and one more sound is also there with the with the help of soft palate pronounced that is m mm. so these are the sounds pronounced with the help of soft palate soft palate is also called velum but friends as far as the soft palate is concerned soft palate has three important positions as far as the positions of soft palate is concerned the first position of soft palate is soft palate raised friends when soft palate raised soft palate is active articulator when soft palate raised at that time our nasal cavity blocked and air escapes through oral cavity when soft palate raised nasal cavity blocked air escapes through oral cavity in this situation situation sound produced are known as oral sounds so this is one situation of soft palate the second situation of soft palate is soft palate lowered friends as i have mentioned that soft palate is active articulator when soft palate lowered at that time two action happens oral cavity blocked somewhere in oral cavity and air escapes through nasal cavity in this situation sound pronounced are known as nasal sounds oral sounds and nasal sounds when nasal sounds soft palate lowered block 
oral cavity and air escapes through nasal cavity those are known as nasal sounds and the third situation of soft palate is very important two situations soft palate lowered as well as oral cavity open and air escapes through both the cavities nasal cavity as well as oral cavity in this situation sound pronounced are known as nasalized sounds but friends there is no nasalized sound in english as far as soft palate is concerned friends after that there is next important organ of speech that is uvula now at the very end of the soft palate is small fleshy pendant structure known as uvula this is very important the back of the tongue with the help of back of the tongue and uvula there can be production of various sounds uh, for example urdu sounds like q qareeb urdu sounds like qareeb or qaum so these sounds are pronounced with the help of uvula there is a no sound pronounced with the help of uvula and after all friends finally there is a very important organ under the articulatory system is the tongue friends tongue is the most important single, single organ of speech so language is also known the tongue it's important and so friends tongue is the most flexible organ assume number of shapes for pronunciation of the various sounds it has various positions and it is a very significant part of the pronunciation of all the languages of the world friends tongue is also imaginary divided into four important parts friends the first part of the tongue that is the tip when the tongue is in the state of rest the part of it lying immediately behind the lower tip is known as the tip of the tongue tip part of it lying immediately behind the lower tip that is when tongue is in the state of rest part of it lying immediately behind the lower tip is known as the tip of the tongue the part of the tongue lying against the teeth ridge is known as the blade the part of tongue lying against the hard palate is known as front of the tongue and the part of the tongue lying against the soft palate is known as back of the tongue these are the four important parts of the tongue tip then blade front and back these are the four parts and two edges two edges of the tongue are known as rims two edges of the tongue are known as rims so friends these are the uh, very important organs of speech include in the articulatory system and with the help of all these organs of speech the articulatory system completes so this among these only only pharynx is not possible to see in the mirror remaining all organs of speech we can easily watch or easily see in the mirror in this way friends try to learn try to understand all these organs of speech and be ready for the next part that is description and classification of english sounds thank you thank you friends